We'll guide you through how to create a Google Form. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Google Forms can have a wide range of different uses. Maybe you're trying to create a registration form or go and collect some data, or maybe even be something else. To go and do this, come to Google and go to the top right and make sure you're signed in, and then click on the apps button, which is the nine dots. Then what you can do is go and scroll down until you can go and see forms and click there, and here we are. So at the top, you're going to go and see some different templates you can go through, or alternatively, you can go and create a blank form. In this case, I'll go and create a blank one, but feel free to use a template. So first of all, we can go and title it. So I could go and name this questionnaire, but you can go and name it whatever's relevant for you. You've then got these different formatting tools and you can go and add a description as well. And we can now go and start adding the questions. So click on the first question. So you can go and type in, and then what you can do is choose how you want the answer to be. You've got multiple choice, checkboxes, and many other options as well. In this case, I could select short answer. Then you can come down to the bottom right here, duplicate it, delete it, make it a required question. And then over to the right here, we've got some other options. At the top here though, we can click on add question and go and add another. In this case, I'll use multiple choice. And then what we can do is start adding the options. So when you go and type in one, you can click on add option again and add another. Then what we could do is go over to the right here. And then this time we could go and click on add section. We can then go and create a whole nother section. So you go and get the idea. And you can also go and add images here and you can also add a video if you want to as well, as well as titles and descriptions. So after you've gone and finished this, then what you can do is go to the top. You can click on responses. Of course, you've got to get some first and you can also go into your settings as well and go and choose how you want this to go and be set up. So what you can do is go and get the link for this to go and share it. To do that, click on send in the top right. And then what you can do is go and click on the link option. You can just go and send it via an email by entering names or emails, but I prefer the link. We can then go and shorten it and you can go and press copy. And then what you can do is go and share it. It's a really simple process. And then once you start to get some responses, you can come here and check it out. You can go through it and you can also go and link it to a Google Sheet as well to go and view the data even more easily or go and do other things with it. If you found this useful, then leave a like.